Hi, right, this is a quick update for Makers of Salem in Goa. Uh, it's been about two weeks since we've been working on the oxygen concentrator and uh, we've made some really good progress. Today we touched uh, 95% oxygen concentration at 10 LPM. That is pretty dang good depending on the kind of uh, way we've been working on these. Uh, the wall outside the asylum broke down and we're still out of power. But thanks to uh, a friend who was able to provide us a genset, we were able to put the uh, lab back in order and be able to test this out. And that's when we cracked the 95% purity levels, which is uh, damn good. A okay, big shout out to the entire M19 collective that's been doing exactly this, what's happening over here, but across the country in their own labs, in their own houses, in their own shops to make these oxygen concentrators happen. It's beautiful to see that there are 10 to 12 oxygen concentrators as part of the M19 collective that are in their advanced stages and are all getting great numbers now. We need to appreciate the fact that this has been just two weeks since all of the engineers and the designers and the makers got to work. Uh, within two weeks, over 12 labs and over a collective of 500 people in 125 different labs have come together to make this happen. And that's what's really beautiful at the end of the day. So many people coming together to be able to solve India's problem. Thanks to all the global community and thanks to the entire M19 collective, together we've made this happen. People across the world have been contributing their time, their energies to be able to work out the mathematics and to be able to work out with the limited resources that we've had to be able to make these locally, using locally available parts. That's phase one. Phase two, where we're going to be disseminating all of this information to all the 125 labs plus more that are joining every single day to the M19 Collective. This information is going to be available for everyone in different languages so that we can start making these locally. We're trying to raise funds to be able to give them what they need to make this happen. Giving a lab a basic support of $1,000 that they need to be able to make the first unit, it goes a long, long way because with that, they're not just able to make one unit, but they're able to learn how to make it and get the confidence to be able to make many more. They're able to sustain themselves to be able to build one. And that's what we're trying to really do. We want to send these oxygen concentrator kits and resources, especially zeolite and compressors, which are hard to find everywhere in the country, to all the labs that need it. And the rest is things they can find locally with all the information that they need with videos, with GitHub repositories, with all the information well documented so the labs and individuals across the country can start making it themselves. How does this really help? One, of course, it helps with the fact that people can make this locally. In the long run, think about it, there are hundreds of thousands of concentrators being brought in into the country. What's happening? Who's going to fix them? Who knows how to work these things? They're just like magic machines that are sitting over there. How do you make sure they run? What are the problems? especially related to India, especially humidity. One of the biggest problems that we've been trying to tackle at the M19 Collective is how do we deal with India's high humidity rates, especially in the coastal areas where we have humidity in Goa at 90%. Now something like that is really bad for the zeolite. And this is not something that people face in China or the United States. So that means that we have to find a localized solution to that problem. And we've done that. We're down to less than 10% humidity going inside the zeolites inside Goa right now, which is amazing, just in a matter of 15 days. Not all the parts are available. Zeolites are not manufactured or are not locally available everywhere in the country. So you have to work through with what we get. We have to work with the compressors that we get. We have to work with uh, the different parts that we get. And that's the beauty of documenting using locally available parts. That proves to show that this is important, the fact that we are able to make it, anyone can be able to make them using things that are locally available and uh, support their village or support their city and spread the information and that's what's really important and that's why we're doing it. We're not doing it to start making them and selling them. We're doing it so that we can give everyone the information, everyone the knowledge to be able to start creating them. Thank you guys for all the support and uh, we really hope we can all make this happen together in a decentralized, distributed manner and be able to make all across India at the same time supporting our own local ecosystem. Good enough? Fantastic man. I don't know. But...